This is Noah Skoll four years ago at age nine. He was born with a healthy voice. But a virus caused tiny polyps to grow on his vocal cords. His mother, Lori, was devastated. I wanted a miracle. I wanted a, I wanted a cure. I wanted to find somebody to help me for him. Um, and that's what brought me to Dr. Zytel's. Dr. Stephen Zytel's of Massachusetts General Hospital is inventing new techniques in the emerging field of vocal cord treatment. Good to see you. And I work with mechanical engineers, chemical engineers, tissue engineers, and we use high-speed photography, uh, cameras that can take in, even in a throat, 5,000 frames a second. He was one of the first people to use micro lasers on damaged vocal cords, minimizing scar tissue and increasing the odds of regaining a normal voice. What have you learned about the value of having a normal, healthy voice? One of the most striking things is how people take it for granted. What if it wasn't there? Zytel's has helped icons such as Steven Tyler and Adele. Last year, she suffered a vocal cord hemorrhage that left her unable to sing. Zytel's performed surgery that allowed her to return to the stage. Roger Daltrey of The Who lost his voice in the months leading up to his 2010 Super Bowl performance. The way he's got my voice working again now, it's, it's like I say, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm, it's easier for me to sing than it was 25 years ago. Can you sing a little something? I mean, just a cappella? My voice is huge. Ah! <laughs> Zytel's has done 17 procedures on Noah over the past four years, gradually destroying his polyps by injecting them with the cancer drug Avastin and zapping them with a laser. Remember, Noah used to sound like this. For my voice to come back. Here he was last month at his bar mitzvah. The third fund I've chosen to give Sadak to is the Massachusetts General Hospital Voice Center. When I restore the voice of a competent adult professional, no matter what they do, what you're doing is you're restoring their lives. Here, it's creating the future of something that should have happened, but might not have happened, and now will happen. For Noah Skoll, this means a future with a voice that can finally be heard. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, Boston.